Lakshmi Tantra, Chapter 11 Vishaka Yupa and the Vibhava Incarnations Shri Vishnu Narayana is pure, not governed by anything, flawless, eternal, the possessor of Shri and of the everlasting Supreme Soul. He embodies the six divine attributes, is ever-existent, supreme, and the most exalted, ever-existing Brahman. I am his eternal potency, and I possess all the attributes possessed by him. You should know that I coexist within Vishnu in all his states of existence. I am pure and absolute, the omnipotent Shakti belonging to Vishnu, the immutable. Expanding my own bhava, state of existence, consisting of both the pure and the impure, I am continuously producing the vyuhas of Hari, distinguished by the paravyuha, etc. Whenever required, by aid of the pure sixfold divine attributes, I instantly manifest God's different forms of bhavat, the absolute existing principle, by appearing in the diverse states of vyuha, etc., in whatever manner is appropriate. Without question, I am the vyapara, action of God. All that I do is regarded as done by Him. In fact, I am considered to be the function of God. Thus, Chakra, I have revealed to you the Absolute as the Vyuha forms of God. Now hear about His third type of forms known as Vibhavas. The four states I have described, Turiya, Shushukti, Svapna, and Jagrat, are pervaded by the Vyuha forms of God, Vasudeva, Sankarshan, Pradyumna, and Aniruddha. As already explained to you, in each particular state, the relevant fourfold deity appears in his own unmanifest or manifest form. When one vyuha emerges from the previous vyuha, like one step immediately follows the one that precedes it, all the intermediate space is filled with the brilliant tejas, energy of God. That revered divine entity consisting of a massed brilliance is unmanifested, without embodiment, consists of reality, knowledge, etc., and is called Vishakayupa. This is a great brilliant column divided into four sections. Each section is allocated to one of the Vyuha deities but also contains all four of them, occupying the four points of the compass, respectively. Thus, there is uninterrupted continuity of vyuhas through all four states of consciousness. Vasudev's domain Turiya, where there is no polarization, Sankarshan's domain Sushupti, where the first signs of polarization are faintly discernible, Pradyumna's domain Svapna, where consciousness is subtly polarized, and Aniruddha's domain Jagrat, where consciousness is fully polarized and limited. These four deities, Vasudeva, etc., being identical with God, each incorporates all four Vyuha deities, and hence, in each state, all four are present. In each successive state, they become more and more distinct to tally with the distinctive character of the main deity of the section. The entire column thus represents the one and single deity. O Chakra, in each particular state, the four-branched embodiment of God, Vasudeva, etc., 
is manifested in graduated order. Thus, when the Vyuha develops out of the transition from the Svapna, dream state, to the waking state, the great Taijasa, the deity called Vishakayupa, is worshipped, filling all the space lying between the end of the dream state and the start of the waking state. Vishakayupa extends over the states that follow after the Sushupti state and fills up the intermediary positions between two states as well as the states themselves. Hence, he is the unmanifested totality of all Vyuha forms, whether manifest or unmanifest, and thus he is called Taijasa. He is the holy god, Vishakayupa, the repository of dazzling energy, aided by the six divine attributes, which are distributed in varying proportions over the three groups of the four deities, vested with the divine majesty relevant to each, and extending from the Turiya to the dream state with divine pure consciousness ranking foremost, he himself splits his own self into the forms of Vasudeva, etc. Again, at the time of the Vibhava incarnations, the same Vishakayupa, not being divided in the fourfold embodiment, develops the Vibhavas. These Vibhava deities are considered to be Padmanabha, Dhruva, Ananta, Saptisha, Madhusudana, Vidyadideva, Kapila, Vishvarupa, Vihangama, Krodatma, Vadavavaktra, Dharma, Vagishwara, Ekarnavantashayin, Kurma, the tortoise shaped deity, Varaha, Narasingha, Amritaharana, Divinely shaped Shripati, Kantatman bearing Amrita, Rahujit, Kalane Migna, Harijatahara, Lokanath, Shantatma, the great master Dattatreya, Nyagrodhashayin, Ekashringatanu, the deity in the form of a one horned fish the deity possessing a Vamana dwarf's form, the all-pervading Trivikram, Nara and Narayan, Hari, Krishna, Parashuram with the burning eye, and the other Rama with the bow, God Kalki, Veda Vid, Vyasadeva, and Patalashayana. These 38 deities are God's manifestations known as the Vibhava deities. In fulfillment of a specific objective conceived by the all-pervasive Vishakayupa, manifestations called Vibhavas evolve into existence and their duties are clearly defined. Padmanabha is stationed in the intermediary region between the pure and the impure creations. The other deities, Dhruva, etc., are on view in various temples of the world. Their forms, weapons, and other shaktis belonging to them are well known from the Sattvata Sanghita. So here they are only referred to by name. The branches of Vyuha incarnations, which are generally recognized as belonging to the all-pervasive God, have been extended by Lord Vishakayupa. The deities arising out of these four branches of Vishakayupa, arising from Vasudev, Sankarshan, Pradyumna, and Aniruddha, are called Vyuhantara, secondary Vyuha. These four groups consist of Keshava, Narayan, and Madhava. Govinda, Vishnu, and Madhusudana, Trivikram, Vamana, and Sridhar, Rishikesha, Padmanabha, and Damodara. 
Again, from the same branches, the Shaktis like Shri, etc., originated in groups of three, tallying with the aforesaid groups of threefold deities. O King of the Tridasha, the 33 principal demigods, all these divine beings, from the Absolute down to the Vibhavas, possess bodies incorporating the pure sixfold divine attributes. O Sureshwar, all weapons such as conch shells, discs, etc., associated with these deities, their various ornaments, diverse garments, different forms of marks, standards, special colors such as white, etc., diverse vehicles, the Shaktis of various forms providing objects of enjoyment, the group category pertaining to the internal organ with all its vritti, functions, all other adornments shared in common with other purushas, deities. O slayer of Bala, regard all these as composed of all six divine attributes. It is I, consisting of pure consciousness and totally infused with the whole range of the six attributes, who assume each particular form as and when required in order to serve the world. I have no separate existence apart from the Supreme God, nor has God Vishnu any existence apart from me. Thus, though we form a single entity, we remain divided in two and jointly participate in whatever mode of appearance circumstances dictate. Chakra I salute thee, O daughter of the ocean. I salute thee, Padma. Deign to explain to me why the Supreme God chooses to manifest himself in the diverse forms of Paravyuha, etc. Shri The purpose of the diverse manifestations of the Supreme God as Paravyuha, etc., is to benefit human beings and show compassion towards his devotees. Chakra I salute thee, O Lotus born, beloved of the Supreme God. Deign to tell me why God does not manifest himself in a single way to help the devotees. Shri O Chakra the accumulated merits of souls vary in quality and quantity, and in no sense mature to fruition at the same rate for all. Very rarely does it happen that, owing to the ripening of merits at the time of birth, a particular individual is viewed in a favorable light by the lotus-eyed God, the Lord of Shri. Some other individual is, however, given the opportunity at some other time. Thus, good fortune, varying both in character and proportion, causes different grades amongst the worthy devotees. Then again, the intelligence capacity of some to apprehend the real nature of God is low. In the case of others, it is of average level, whereas in the case of yet others it may be divinely strong. Thus, owing to various degrees of God's grace, inequalities arise. In order to meet the requirements of each particular function, the Supreme God manifests himself in paravyuha forms by presiding over me, his Shakti. Those who have undergone the discipline of yoga and mastered it are worthy for the pursuit of absolute unqualified truth. They become enlightened through meditation, realize the truth, and are fit to comprehend the absolute self. They do not need any lower truth, closer to ordinary experience and capacity of mind. Persons of average intelligence who achieve partial enlightenment through meditation, are allowed access to the Vyuha incarnations. 
This second group have achieved some depth of mind and are capable of understanding the transcendental qualities of these Vyuha manifestations. Those lacking discrimination in true knowledge are allowed access to the forms belonging to the Vibhava group. Each of the Vibhava deities symbolizes only one aspect of God. Hence, those deities are much easier for the ordinary person to grasp. Considering the differences in mental qualities of devotees still afflicted by the illusion of egotism and selfishness, and so fit to understand God in various degrees of perfection, he assumes states of existence on different levels known as paravyuha, etc. Thus, O Chakra, I have explained to you in brief the manifestations consisting of both bhava and bhava, and of the vyuhas which follow the separate existence of bhava and bhava. All these manifestations represent myself and Narayana. I have today related to you our combined existence, either separately, in combination with each other, or exclusively in the group of koshas, sheaths, enclosing me, whether pure or impure. Thus clearly discerning me with the approval of all, and ceaselessly worshipping me, who am of manifold nature, in diverse ways, the devotee can eliminate the effect of suffering resulting from accumulation of his deeds, and can reach my state.